Felix Chicho, follow up question why do they want the globe at the end of the day? Power is only a means to an end. I, I don't know, sleepy boy. Um, uh, not sleepy boy, Felix. Why, why do psychopaths do what psychopaths do? I don't know, I don't care. I just know what they do is evil, right? And I, I, I won't support it, right? I don't try to figure out why everybody does certain things they do. I used to when I was younger. Why would they do this? Why would they do this? Why would they do this? And then you realize sometimes they're not even aware of what they're doing. Like, for example, one of the questions that I had my whole life, really, that got answered in the last two years, really, my whole life, right? Not well, okay, let's not, not say my whole life. Since I started doing research into the history of uh, World War One and World War Two because I'm interested. I was interested in war a lot when I was younger, right? Especially in relation to board games, war board games, very complicated stuff, beautiful stuff, right? In terms of uh, exercising the mind, right? But one of the things that I looked into in the past, which is the Armenian genocide and the Holocaust, the genocide in World War Two, right? Because they're in, they're connected, right? So for me, one of the questions I always had in my mind is, how could they do it? How could they allow such things to happen, right? How could they allow apartheid? How could they allow segregation? How could they allow the government to demonize a certain race or a certain culture and take those people away, seize their assets, put them in camps, and when push came to shove, commit genocide? How could they do it? And this is something that I've it's, it, it really it, it baffled me my whole life, right? Since I was like 18, 19 years old when I looked into the history of World War One and World War Two with the Armenian genocide and the Holocaust Jewish and oh God, all the genocides that have taken place, right? We now know. I know people that I would have called friends in the past. Now they're sort of associates that if the government told them to round up the people who are not injected, they would round them up and put them on buses and send them to camps. Okay. Right now, we are seeing people in the Western world seize assets of Russian people that have Rush that have Russian ancestry, right? Or they've immigrated. The Russians they've immigrated to a certain country, and they're seizing the assets of russians in the western world they are canceling russian children russian musicians russian literature right ask yourself this when have you heard something like this take place and where does this lead right so for me one of the questions that i've always had how could they do it how could they allow their governments to commit genocide and willingly participate in it we now see because in their minds these people who have uh, forfeited their humanity right to abide by the dictates of psychopaths right uh, it's part of a mass formation as it's been stated but it's part of a hip, hypno, hypnotic sort of trance that people have fallen into the group mentality right so to a long with the answer to your question i don't know why they do certain things right those puppet masters uh, it's enough for me to realize that they've been able to convince otherwise good people to commit genocides and that to me is enough to know that evil and to stand up against it right that's all i need to know because we have a conscience some of those people do not how can you relate to someone that doesn't have a conscience when you ask them why do they commit torture Right? I don't know.